taking you way back on this throwback Thursday. Remember Skippy from the hit show Family Ties? Well, he's here all grown up and in town for comedy show honoring Robin Williams. Let's do this, DC, in three, two, one. The 10A starts right now. Yeah. 1022 coming up, a throwback Thursday, Robin Williams tribute starring Skippy. Yes, from Family Ties. Remember him? I know. Well, if you watch Family Ties, you know who we're talking about, and he's live here in the loft. Comedian Mark Price. He's coming up a little later. Awesome. It's Throwback <laughs> Thursday, and this morning we are hanging out with a former Family Ties star turned stand-up comedian paying tribute with another comedian to a comedy legend. Look at those two. <laughs> yeah, Mark Skippy Price, Roger Cabler, both live in the loft. They've got a show you don't want to miss. We're going to get a preview next. That's it. <laughs> Okay, our next two guests have had us laughing for years. One is an actor and comedian best known for his role as Erwin Skippy Handelman on the hugely popular 80s sitcom television series Family Ties. He is also open for Jay Leno, Jerry Seinfeld. The other is known as the fedora-wearing Zima spokesman and his gimmick involving replacing S with Z, reinforcing the slogan, something different. Now Mark Price and Roger Cabler have teamed to honor one of the greats with a Robin Williams tribute show. For one night only, they're going to take the stage at Liberty Laughs Comedy Show in Fredericksburg. But first, they are live with us in the loft this morning. Good morning to both of you. Well, good morning. Well, I, this is the first time I'm speechless. I just saw my whole life flash before me, my career crash and burn. Pfft, there it is. Zima. Zima. <laughs> I, used to be a, I used to be the spokesman for Zima. I used to drink Zima when <sighs> I was in college. Are you all right? <laughs> Right. You, got, you made it through college. I Congratulations. Made through, I made it through. That's, All right. That's a good pitch for Zima. Zima, you'll make it through college. <laughs> exactly. You know what? You, this is amazing. I know you're known for your impressions, and you were right on. But, I, I mean, I feel like I'm talking to Robin Williams. Oh, you are a little bit, baby. Yeah. When well, did you know that this was a match for you? Well, it's, it's really less of a match than sort of a possession. Um, I, the first time I saw him, I felt, I know that guy. It seems very much like me. And um, I'm having a little trouble getting out of the character this morning. It's sort of strange. It's in the air. I don't know why. Um, but it's good. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a proper tribute. And I feel like when it cooks, the audience mm -hmm. does feel it. Uh, Penny, Penny uh, Marshall, uh, mm -hmm. Penny, Cindy Williams, who right. played uh, Shirley on Laverne and Shirley, was at one of the shows. And she just grabbed me and said, oh, my God, because I think she dated him, um, and said, I feel Robin. I feel Robin. And that's the idea of the show, to bring that back. How did you guys team up? Well, I always wanted to tour with Robin Williams. So this was. So, a, I always this, wanted to interview him, and I feel like I am. There right? you go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I first saw Robin, um, you know, at the Mork and Mindy set, actually, back mm -hmm. at the Paramount Studios, where we did Family Ties. Before Family Ties, I came and visited, and I got to see Mork being taped. Now, was that back in a time when your dad was also still, and you would go with him on exactly. different things? Exactly. My dad things? was an old-time comedian, yeah. and he had some friends and got, got us into oh, Paramount Oh, some Studios. friends. Let's see what. He was on, like, the Ed Sullivan Show. He was, oh, I yeah. mean, big-time friends. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. George Burns, Milton yeah. Berle, all the old-timers, you know. And so some of those old-timers were a part of the Hollywood. Back in those days, they used old people still. <laughs> and uh, and they uh, invited us to come hang out, and I remember going to see Robin Williams play on Mork and Mindy while they were mm. taping the show and stuff, and what a thrill just a few years later to be introducing him at the Comedy Store, and I was on stage with him at Comic Relief for mm -hmm. HBO. And, um, but I never got to know him really well. I have friends that are good friends with him. Oh. And I just, um, I'm just such a big fan, and he makes comedians feel very comfortable when uh, he would come and be backstage at one of the shows or something. He would make everyone feel like we were all a part of the same club. Yes, and then you get that Mork and Skippy, you know, energy going. It's explosive in the club. I mean, it really, when we get that going, because he's, Mark is an incredible showman. One of the most fantastic energies I've ever been around. It is so addictive. I was going to say, what is, what is the show really like? Like, what do people get? Because it's not like the it's traditional It's like this only, stand we're standing up. up. It's like... <laughs> No. You're standing up, and you're funny. That's why it's stand-up well, comedy. Well, the, the, secret, the secret of the show, I do my act, you know, mm -hmm. and I introduce yeah. him. And when he comes out, he does Robin Williams, and people freak out. And there it is. Ah. They're watching Robin Williams in concert, something you can't do, and now you can. It's, right. the, it's really mind-blowing. And then what uh, takes it to the next level is the encore, because he comes out, and he does everybody else. And they've seen him do Robin, and they think that's it's a one-trick pony, but really he can... Well, there's a little De Niro, yeah. I was like, instantly you cocked your head, and I'm no, like, no, I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be excluded. Not for nothing, but, you know, let's not get, you know, favoritism. 
You know, you mentioned my dad was a mimic, a oh, comedian, he was, yeah, but my dad yeah, was a mimic, yeah. and, well. and he did yeah. impersonations. Uh -huh. And so I've been around this my whole life, and, uh, you know. Did you did you feel the pressure could, to be funny, never. or when did you realize you clearly got the funny gene? Well, I can never do dad. impressions like my dad, by the way, and I can't sing like my dad. But he was on Merv Griffin. But I could I tell know. jokes. I went on Merv when I was fourteen, and my dad right. taught me how to tell his jokes, and he and taught me. And didn't that kind of lead to Skippy? It did. Family ties really came as a direct result of uh, going on the Merv Griffin show. A lot of people thank Merv for giving them their start. Right. I'm one of them. Do you still? Is there always going to be a special place in your heart for Skippy? Because you know, sometimes I feel like there are people that have those roles, and then here we are, ever how many decades later. Still referring to you as Skippy, and they are like, "All right, already, can I've we move on?" I've grown to cope. <laughs> I decided a long time nicely. ago to look at the positive, to be a part of yeah. that cast, and work with those great people, mm -hmm. the yeah. producers, and the writers. Uh, what a what a thrill, what an honor. Uh, I'm proud of it, and if that's how people still know me, hey, a lot of the young people at comedy clubs don't even remember Family Ties anymore. It's a new generation right? of comedy fans. And we're proud that our show is relevant for you know right. all audiences. And every but. every so often, Michael J. Fox calls him up and says, "Hey, Skippy, you're over it already. <laughs> Get over yourself, you man. Move on. No, I'm still milking. Move on. I'm still milking it. It's 30 years later. How many impressions do you do? Oh, I do three. Well. <laughs> Actually, we're getting back to the Zima thing. You know they're putting helium in beer now. And I just want to tell you folks out there, if you're driving around on helium beer and you get pulled over, be careful because when the cop says, have you been drinking tonight? And you go, why do you say that? Well, <laughs> don't step out of the car because you start to levitate with all the... Anyway, I don't know where... What was the question? Exactly. But you know what? You know what's amazing is that also for the millennials that don't know who Skippy is, yeah. they may not as be as familiar with Robin Williams. No, everyone either. knows everyone I mean, loves Robin Williams. I want to say something of ages. But he's keeping his comedy alive. Especially oh, with, thank you. <laughs> as, as we had the tragic loss of him. And you know what I mean? And this is a wonderful we way did. to we remember did. and, and it, for young people to continue to learn. Yes, and it really hit me in a certain way, too, where I felt compelled to do this act. And mm -hmm. it's a true story. I felt that he approached me because he'd seen me do him on TV, and he liked it, apparently, um, according to his friend, who I know. Um, and I felt like Robin was saying, hey, pss, let's go back to work. Come on. So there's a mission. I think, to tell you the truth, I think Robin, truly, from me to you, mm -hmm. um, he has a mission. It's a goodwill mission. It's a humanitarian mission. It was cut short. Mm -hmm. So I plan on continuing his mission, which was to reach into people's hearts and pull out the best in them, to get them to feel their goodness. Because I think there's so many of us that are shut down. And yeah. I know I'm going to be going on U.S. soul tours and supporting the For troops yeah, and carrying on the show. That's the great thing, honestly, about the show. It offers some closure. Yeah. Yes. And there, there's also going to be a segment of the show where I'm doing... We uh, do need I'm closure. Doing, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to go that closure. Was word. That was the word. That was oh, the word. Okay, that was the magic comes. word. Usually they have their comedy show on Friday and Saturday. It's a special one-night-only engagement tonight. Thursday, and then they'll be off to Newport News, right? And Mrs. Doubtfire will be there as well. A closure. Oh, yeah. All right, back to you guys. I think <laughs> I really did him. just interview Robin Williams. You can't tell him to stop. <laughs> all right, thank That's you both. Me. Thank you all.